Yeah, just hold them steady here and I'll get some measurements. Thirty-five and three. Mm, we like it. It's a yeah. good start. Butler's was one seventy inches, actually, so one sixty-nine. Really? shot at him and two more and then he was down. Perfect. Fifteen and seven. Yeah, that's a nice range. Fifteen and seven. Left one. There's no ground shrinkage when I walked up to him. <laughs> start to come around to three-quarter curl yeah. roughly or better and then they'll start to broom mm -hmm. so that's what we call a class four and it could be a ram that's anywhere from five or six and up right you know it yeah. depends on the age of the ram you know okay. we, but when we saw two two or less but i think we saw what eight or nine in one fifties or better Kind of measured it. What's your guess? We came up with 177.4. I got 177 and 5 eighths, and then you get one and 5 eighths of deductions for 176 even. That's a really big ram. Yeah. So, biggest ram I've checked in. Thank you. Kind of <laughs> the so, yeah. No, that's, that's awesome. So, now I got to drill a hole in. <laughs> yeah, that's a. Well, when you pulled out the pickup, I knew it was big, but I just didn't want to get carried away. So when you jumped out from behind the rock, this is what I saw. Was this sand? This this horn? Oh, geez. yeah. Just, just, that's it. Start shooting. Yeah. Yeah.
had seen that rim that, um, was it Bill Butler that he harvested? Yeah. And uh, we saw him from about four miles. We called him Banana Head. Oh, yeah. Because he like, had bananas hanging off his head. Yeah, he was, his um, ram carried out his tips. Yeah. Too. He was a beautiful ram. Yeah, this is seven and a half year old ram. It's hard to tell um, his uh, annual rings aren't real defined as, you know, like some of them up there. Yeah. You know, so that's it. It's kind of deceiving, but I'd say seven and a half. Yeah, you know, this guy's, I mean, this is one year, that's one year's growth right there, and that's another year's. He's just put on a lot of mass consecutive years. Yeah. So, yeah. Hopefully he spread his genes around a little bit. Yeah, hope so. Yeah, the preference, right or left horn? Yes, ma'am. Okay, there you go. All right. Beautiful. Seven oh one. Sure. Okay. I'm just gonna cut a piece of meat off of this and put a bit of straw or something under here. That's all we need. All right. So, yeah. If you don't mind, I might grab our camera and get a picture no, of them because no, nobody's going to believe me that we got around this big out here, so i got to have pictures as proof. I thought with the shoot, I said I'd be happy if that was a Rocky Mountain. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I saw you had a big smile on your face when I pulled them out. Yeah, I just kept, yeah, it was something else. Okay, I'll make a photocopy of this stuff and grab the camera. Got everything, and I think so. So, how close do we come for, for yours? Uh, we're right on the money. I mean, Realistically, you know, so left horn, um, you got 35 and 2, and I had 35 and 3. Yeah. And then the 7, I had an 8th longer. Yeah. Um, you know, but right down we are Yeah, pretty close. I mean, right in there. So, and then I had, I had the deductions, of course, but yeah. But yeah. So, no, we're real close. And it's all, you know, depth. You know, rough. So, I mean, that's not a, obviously a good practice score. Those guys would be a little bit more diligent about. Yeah. Taping their marks and yeah. you know, so I just we just get a rough score and I've got the day marked when yeah. I can go get them done. Yeah, and then uh, I'm a little I try to be a little bit more generous because I mean it's a once a lifetime sheep. If you're right. if you're up an eighth or two longer, it's yeah. perfect. So yeah. actually we're so. shorter than you for having the deductions. Yeah, so. we get one seventy four. Yeah, but I'll take yours. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, one seventy six just sounds better. It does. That's less than tag, less than a buck a point. <laughs> what a bargain. <laughs> so people who might not believe you? Oh, they'll believe me, but photo, you know, I photo proof this way better. Yeah, I'll get that a little better. Yeah, that's, DNA from it. that's what we like to see harvested is the big boys, so. 
going to be like that orange that guy that's going to die of old age, you know. Oh, is this for me? Yeah, that's, okay. that's your cost sequence. Okay. So, yeah, well, okay. excellent. That's definitely a beautiful ring. So, did you get it for me? No, yeah. no. Still, still grinning. I sat there last night and looked at it for about an hour. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Making sure it was all true. Uh, excellent. Yeah. Very neat. So, all right. I'm surprised too out of that country. I just didn't know there's. I knew there's some nice rams in there, but I had, you know, when when you see these rams, usually you get an idea how, yeah, that they're in there. But this guy surprised us. So that's that's really mm -hmm. special. I've seen. It is. So. I know he's a special ram. So. Yeah. Take good care of him. So. Okay. I'll enjoy well, looking at him. Well, yeah. thank you, Scott. Absolutely. And so. Take care. Yeah, congratulations thank again. You. Thanks. Outstanding trophies. The silver award goes to Bruce Moe for his self guided ram, taken in Washington November 2011. It scores 166 and 6 8 SCI. The gold award goes to Chuck Duffy and Virgil's Desert Bighorn Hunts for a great Nevada ram. That California Bighorn scores 167 and 7 8 SCI and was taken in September 2011. Thomas J. Little hunted self-guided in Washington and took a huge California Bighorn in September 2011. He receives the Platinum Award for that round, scoring 178 and 1.8 SCI. Competition was tied for the top two awards, but Walter Chuck does receive the Diamond Award for a self-guided Oregon ram. It was only two-eighths of an inch larger than the Platinum Award winner. Walter's Rams was 178 and 3.8 SCI and was taken in August of 2012. This completes the California Big Horn category. Let's really give them a hand. Each ram that qualifies for the minimum of one in every entry. The first bronze goes to Mike Adams for a South Baja Mexico ram that he took with the Hedo Alfredo V. Bonfil. Michael was in Arizona in December 2010. All I said was don't trim. <laughs> what happened to the uh, I'm going to moonwalk across the stage? Yeah, well, <laughs> I didn't want to do that. <laughs> Laurel Levin and High Desert Outfit. <laughs> <laughs> 
Congratulations. Well done. Thank you. Yeah. And bronze uh, Rocky Mountain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're good. Diamond, good for you. California, where'd you take that? Oregon. Oh, right on. Good for you. Thank you. Yeah, are you a uh, movie star tonight, eh? I got lucky. Oh, there you go. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Very lucky than good. Yeah. No, I mean, your uh, your cameraman, your private cameraman. That's my paparazzi. Oh, right on. Well, I better get out of the shot yeah. here, you know. I thought you were just, aren't you Justin Bieber? No, man. No, seriously. <laughs> He was the only guy that showed up. I guess that scared everyone else away, huh, Don? Yeah. They heard the rumor. The rumors were true. Thank you, Don. You did all the hard work. What do you think? It's pretty impressive, man. It's never my father's imagination. So when I called you in May or in June, did you think this this would be the? No. There's there's no freaking way I thought we'd be winning the Diamond Award for California Bighorn. Not in a thousand years. I mean, I thought I knew we were going to kill a good one. I didn't think we were going to kill. The big one. No. Here's you, bud. Nice, refreshing Keystone Light. Mm. <laughs> the official beer of the Oregon Road Hunter. Three more weeks. I'm going to do this again. Mm. Chuck, 
BNC score 176 and 3 eighths. Congratulations, Walter. Got him. Didn't come up. Oh, he went down. Yeah! <laughs> Just like shooting birds. Let's go make sure you get He's flopping around. Let's go. I love you, man. <laughs> Thank you.